As some of the cars take to the track, we've heard that it's going to be a special night, a very emotional night for the family, but it's going to be, well, kind of a dirty night, a muddy night, if you will, because a lot of these cars kick up a whole lot of mess. <laughs> Right now, Jaden is showing me what's called a 44. It's four punches with the right hand, four punches with the left hand, and I gotta say, he's pretty strong. It was the ideal scenario out here at Allen Fieldhouse. Not only did those crazy fans get to watch their home squad dismiss in-state rival Kansas State, and that means these girls, 12 and under, are playing two, three, four, maybe even five games, and all of them in triple-digit heat. He said he was a bit tougher on the men's program, yelling at them, pushing them a bit harder. He said with the women's program, well, he was downright sensitive. Did say they would be doing some scoreboard watching this afternoon. With a Cincinnati win over San Diego, the Chiefs are AFC West champs. The summer of 2011 will forever connect the Royals' Eric Hosmer and Mike Moustakis. The franchise is leaning on these young pillars to bring the team back to their once-winning ways. Creativity is just finding its way in here. Salina might not be the art mecca of the world, but to this artist, space, peace, and time is all he needs. Where I'm coming from in New York, everything's very dense. There's competition for everything from apartments to the last gallon of milk. Free from the burdens of the big city, Ryan Humphrey is letting his creative juices flow on this canvas in a piece called Domestic Bliss. The project I'm working on here is a, a collision between a, maybe a stereotypical uh, domestic interior and a skateboard park, BMX park, that sort of collision of worlds. A mashup, if you will. Humphrey's an avid BMX rider, and he says domestic bliss is all about breaking down the boundaries that the everyday home is used to. And it seems like all the interesting stuff, the noisy, smelly, messy stuff gets shoved out into the garage. All right, so I've traded in the shirt, the tie, the pants, and uh, threw on some of my biking and skating gear, I guess you could say, and it's time for this reporter to give this ramp a try. Actually, I... I think I'm just gonna leave the riding to the kids in this case. Dang, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, it's chaos, It's but it's great. I mean, I end up yelling at them and throwing them out half the time and being like, okay, you're penalized, go skate around the block. Domestic Bliss opens August 5th at the Salina Art Center. Reporting in Salina, Carl Mann, KWCH 12 Eyewitness News. The mindset changes a lot. I mean, I go from just being myself and goofy and to just getting serious and getting ready to go. By day, a local handyman. By night, a guy whose hands you want nowhere near you. Mostly uh, no plumbing stuff like water heaters and putting in toilets and stuff like that. It's just something besides wrestling to do and it's a lot more exciting. Four, three, two, one. One glance at Chris Sutton Kern at his job in Concordia and you would never guess that the same person would be a main event cage fighter. Believe it, when this 24-year-old isn't shooting sparks at work, he's shooting for the right leg lock or choke hold in the octagon. His body pays the price in the process. Just being on my feet all day and then going to practice. Basically, I wake up in the morning, don't want to move, and I mean, feel like an old man, I'm at 24. So. Chris gets his mixed martial arts practice in here at the Kansas Highway Patrol Training Center. It's old, it's gritty, it doesn't have air conditioning. Basically, it's a perfect environment for any fighter. There's nothing else that goes on up here but hard work. Just gotta work uh, work for that paycheck. Sutton Kern is set to main event Saturday's mixed martial arts event put on by the United Fighting Federation at Salinas Heritage Hall. The fighter's already coming out swinging with his words for his opponent. He said can't, a wrestler can't touch him, so I'll touch him. I'll do a little bit more than that. I'm looking to end this real quick. In Salina, Carl Mann, KWCH 12 Eyewitness News. He will not be forgotten. He will never be replaced. And uh, I love the man. A beloved coach and Kansas native dies in a plane crash. Buggy grew up playing basketball on his driveway in Salina where he'd become a local legend. Eyewitness News reporter Carl Mann shows us how one Kansas coach plans to honor that legacy new at six. 
It was on this very court that Kirk Butkey went from being a simple basketball player with a pretty jump shot to a legend, a folk hero some would say in the town of Salina. He was the instrumental piece on the Sacred Heart team that went on to win the 3A state title in 1979. Now I spoke with some of his teammates today that were on that team. They say that they're numb over the untimely passing of their friend. They do say, however, they're going to remember all the great memories that they had right here on the hardwood. My wife told me and I just really can't believe it. Michael Martin relived the days growing up when he would watch Kirk Butkey shoot shot after shot after shot. He recalls a hard worker on the court, a jokester off of it, and more importantly, a friend. Martin played alongside Butkey on the 1979 Sacred Heart Championship squad. All of it now is an emotional recollection for a teammate now gone. Just his winning attitude and uh, didn't matter how much you were down, that's, uh, you know, you just refused to give up. The current head coach of Sacred Heart, Pat Martin, draws back to the days as the team's water boy and how he looked up to Bud Key. Of course, back then I wanted to be a, a basketball star like him. And awful tough. The coach stressed the importance of making sure Bud Key is honored for the rest of the season inside the gym he made so famous. Now I think we'll dedicate the rest of the season to him and I'd like to retire the, the jersey number 25 that he wore. But uh, what a tough time for the family and friends and the whole community. In Salina, Carl Mann, KWCH 12 Eyewitness News.